Find out why there wasn't even running water at the Fire Festival disaster. Billy McFarland promised a once-in-a-lifetime experience. He promised a festival of music, art, and luxury. To promote Fire Festival, he hired some of the biggest influencers and models in the world, including Kendall Jenner. They created a stunning video that showed a pristine island with beautiful beaches and celebrities, all of which set the expectations for the festival incredibly high. It was set to take place on the Exumas, an island in the Bahamas, in April 2017. Thousands of people from around the world bought tickets, which ranged from $450 to $12,000, eager to be a part of this once-in-a-lifetime event. But when the festival goers arrived on the island, they were met with a completely different reality. The festival was nothing like what was promised in the promo video. There was no luxury. There was no music. There was no art. Instead, the festival goers were met with disaster. Reports from fire were filled with tales of theft, mismanagement, and utter chaos. Attendees were unable to find their way around the dark festival grounds, and there were no lights to guide them. There was no running water due to Billy thinking he could evaporate the surrounding seawater, but failing to do so. No medical personnel, no cell phone or internet service, and the few portable toilets were insufficient for the number of festival goers. To make matters worse, fire was promoted as a cashless event, leaving many attendees without money for taxi fare or other expenses. People were stranded, as flights to and from the island were cancelled after the Bahamian government issued an order that barred any planes from landing at the airport. The first flight back to Miami boarded at 1.30 in the morning, but it was delayed for hours due to issues with the flight's tickets. It was eventually cancelled after sunrise, and the passengers were locked in the Exuma airport terminal with no access to food, water, or air conditioning. In the sweltering heat, at least one person passed out and had to be hospitalized. It was the final straw in what was already a disastrous festival. The truth was that Fire Media had been using fake bank accounts and shell companies to fund the festival. Billy McFarland had promised his investors huge returns, but instead, he used their money to fund his lavish lifestyle. Fire Festival quickly became a national joke, and Billy McFarland was arrested and charged with multiple counts of fraud. He was sentenced to six years in prison and was ordered to pay millions of dollars in restitution to his victims. 